course, you've got Thornton uh, with a ton of eyes on him, uh, you know, this year. And again, we speculated this earlier, you know, a Foxborough flu situation where Thornton could theoretically, if they deem that he's not ready, could get some sort of medical redshirt this year, thus opening up an extra role where you have Myers and Nixon potentially on this team. And then you kind of see what happens. I wouldn't be stunned if that happened. I, I really wouldn't. Again, we'll see how Ty Crock right. progresses. But again, given the fact that I think they do want him to put a little meat on his bones, take another year or so, and maybe kind of figure stuff out, that wouldn't be too shocking to me. Well, Thorns Thorns looked good to this point. He looks really smooth when he moves. He you know, does. Funny. I heard I heard Doug say that about Nixon. I actually felt that way about Tyquan Thornton. Not just the straight line speed, the way he gets in and out of his brakes and changes direction. But he, I mean, he's really one of those. You know, towards I, I'm actually I have a list right here. I'm going to be writing for 98.5 The Sports Hub. Uh, dot com tomorrow who are the players to watch the most who have the most to stake when the pads come on Tyquan Thornton's on that list because then you really get into the lack of size the lack of muscle how can he compete so he's it, it's going to be really interesting to see you know if he continues to pop when the pads come on it changes this whole picture I think right now we're all working on at least somewhat of a, a, an assumption of somewhat of a red shirt year if he comes out and he's dominating coverage when the pads are on Buckle up because things get very different. Now all of a sudden he's a potential top two guy. Yeah. Different story today. He talked today. He sounds he sounds pretty, you know, he sounded pretty confident. And again, so much of it yeah. with with him. He gets it. He gets it. I I, yeah. I, I like I like kind of his ma- I, I like his makeup, you know, um so far. And I like what I've seen from him. But you're right, no player uh, he, on the offensive side, we will learn more about Thornton when the pads come on than almost any other player on the team because it's really right. going to come down to, you know, can he get off the line? Really, is what it comes to, what it's going to come down to, or is he just going to get absolutely manhandled um, by corners? And again, you know, I won't say the Patriots don't have physical corners; they do have some physical corners. They're just not the biggest guys. And if he's getting his butt kicked uh, going off the line against, you know, your Millses and your Jones and guys who are six feet and under. Uh, yeah, it might be a bit of an uphill climb for him this year. People will laugh at me for this, but I'm going to say it anyway. There's one corner on the team. He's not going to track Tyquan Thornton down the field. The one thing he does very well, he's a big guy. He does give, he can get in a receiver's jersey at the line, and that's Juwan Williams. Again, yep. if, if Tyquan gets off the line, that's pretty much it for Juwan Williams. But... That's a head-to-head I'd like to see. Because like you said, you know, the Patriots, they don't have a ton of these big press sure. guys. They usually do. So in my mind, I go to, all right, well, who's the biggest press corner? Who's the strongest press corner he's going to face? It's Juwan Williams, maybe by default, but it is. So that'll be an interesting matchup to watch. Ju- Ju- and Juwan Williams is 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 just one notch above me on the depth chart right now. So I don't know exactly <laughs> what we're going to see from yeah, him. Yeah, maybe that says more about the corners than anything else. But <laughs> it, no, just like when you said that, my mind instantly went to... Cause it's a good point, right? You know, we got to see him get off against some press. Yeah. So my mind goes to, all right, who's the biggest guy he's going to have to shuck off of him, unless, you know, Jabril peppers comes back and play some outside corner, which he might it. I mean, by default, it's Sean waves. He's the biggest guy, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, the, and, and you're right. And that's the kind of yeah. like go out there and beat the crap out of him. Cause I want to see what the kid can do. Right. Exactly. And, and, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's almost kind of like, right. It's, it, it's, you know, he is that he is the prototype in terms of that and that type of thing is that can you beat a guy with his size and his physicality uh yeah that would be interesting to see 